Hey there, it's Paul Archer from dronesby.com and this time around I'm pretty excited to show you a first look for the new Box 2 GPS drone from MJX. This company has pleasantly surprised me in the past to the point where I've become a fan. I won't let that stop me from being objective, but considering how good the Box 3 was, I have really high expectations for this new drone. This is going to be a short unboxing and overview, but expect a full review of it soon. So don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't yet seen the review for Box 3, go ahead and click here. Trust me, it's by far the best drone you can buy for around 100 bucks. These two drones are pretty similar from what I can see at the first glance. Even their boxes are similar, although the new Box 2 is a little smaller in size. The new quadcopter is looking very much alike the Box 3, and that's a good thing. Even the transmitter looks almost the same, besides, this time around, it's all black and comes with an LCD screen. Both the GPS and headless modes can be easily turned on and off by the press of a button and there are commands for taking photos and video too. It has more of a complete and sturdy look as the top part is not removable and the forward facing camera means it won't need long landing gear. As mentioned before, I really like the design of the drone. It has a slimmer profile and therefore I can easily fit it in my bag. A full comparison between the two drones will be up soon. The drone comes with a complete package where you get the charger, a set of spare props, a screwdriver, accessories for mounting the phone on the controller, the transmitter itself, a bag of prop dampeners and a battery that has the same charge and power as the one on the Box 3, coming at 7.4 volts, 2S and 1800 mAh. The big difference is that this battery has an easier inserting mechanism than the Box 3, but that could make it harder to store as the drone doesn't have an on and off button and if you connect the battery the drone will power up automatically. The landing legs also function as LEDs for positioning and other functions. They advertise the camera as being a Full HD 1080p camera, but we have to see how good it actually records considering it doesn't have any inbuilt stabilization. The drone flies pretty well and stable compared to any other non-GPS drone, but it's not perfect as it seems to drift sometimes. Can't really complain as this drone should be pretty damn cheap. Overall, it looks like a very viable and badass drone for someone with a low budget that wants to experience features found out on more expensive drones, from GPS and return to home to altitude hold and headless mode but I'm pretty sure I can get some really nice footage from it in post-processing stabilization. If you want to find more about it, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to be one of the first to find out more details. And you'll even see how it records video. So, what are you waiting for? At least leave a comment down below. See ya!